In this video, we'll learn how to use the MSR175 dashboard software to stop a measurement and read out the measured data. When an MSR175 data logger comes back from its mission, we connect it to a USB port. The MSR175 dashboard displays in its left section all connected loggers that are ready to read out or configure. The data logger is now shown as active which means that a mission is still ongoing. Also, the lock symbol shows a closed lock, but with a check mark, which means that we have access to the device since we share the same pin code in the mission setup that's stored in our MSR175 dashboard. Furthermore, the folder symbol shows that the logger contains measurement data. To stop the ongoing mission and read out the data, we first select the data logger in the dashboard's left section. We then have several options. If we want to download the data and immediately start a new mission, we can click on the button that says Download File Restart Mission. If we want to just download the data and stop measuring for now, we click on the button that says Stop Mission Download File. If we just want to stop measuring without downloading the data yet, we can click the Stop Mission button. The Start Mission button, although active, will not let us start a new mission on this device since we didn't download the contained data yet. We would lose this data since the logger's storage is always cleared when starting a new mission. For now, let's click the Stop Mission Download File button and see what happens. The representation of the data logger, while being read out, moves to the middle section of the dashboard where we can follow the data file's download progress. It then goes back to the left section, ready to be used for a new mission. Now that the measured data is read out, we want to see what was actually measured. With a click on the Download Files button, we can access a list of all files downloaded during this dashboard session. There are two buttons below the Files list that gives us access to two different tools, the Report Generator and the Shock Viewer. Let's open our data file with the Report Generator first. The report generator does just what its name suggests. It generates a report that shows us at a glance everything important that was measured along the mission. The content of the report speaks for itself and will not go into more detail here. The report generator provides us with a time filtering option in case we want to limit the displayed data to a specific period of the mission. And last but not least, the report generator offers several options for printing the report and for exporting shock and sensor data in different formats. Try them out. For this video, we'll leave the report generator and have a look at the shock viewer. In contrast to the report generator, the shock viewer is a more sophisticated tool that lets us dig deep into the data to analyze in detail the conditions and shocks that occurred during a mission. The functionality of the shock viewer is covered by a separate video series. So let's close the shock viewer and go back to the MSR175 dashboard. You may want to change the path where the data files are stored. To do this, click on the menu icon and select Options in the left bar. You'll find further help videos here by clicking on Help. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos to learn more about the MSR 175 dashboard.